such a warm welcome to all of you all here this is our first attempt at having a poetry by moonlight session kokni world has had kojagiri and other things like that and actually this idea was inspired by that no because full moon night i don't know how much of the moon we can see even if the light is out it's coming up will the ladies go mad you can do if you are doing video recording don't miss the moon the moon is it's going to be red moon tonight i think no blood moon is it it's a lunar eclipse actually so we have partial eclipse at the moment yeah the really lovely so in the night yeah 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 Uh, will the ladies go mad see ah uh, all all of you all are talking when i'm trying to interrupt okay. this is very bad so i cannot get any way i cannot make any progress go ani dusro we had a couple of uh, kojagiri yeah. poetry sessions and all but nobody ever had this uh, Eclipse night. Oh, great! Oh, Eclipse night. We, we are having. So we are, we are, we are playing around with, with fate. Anyway, so, 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 anyway, just a word or two on how this idea came about. One is we want to use a terrace. Secondly, we want to have literary events. Thirdly, we don't see any borders between languages or whatever it is. All are welcome. And uh, yeah, and you know, actually, Aaron and we were just discussing. Aaron, as some of you might not know, he was my unfortunately had a the bad fortune of being my student when i was teaching as a accidental teacher so one year i had to do all this you know literature and some kind of things related to poetry which i didn't have a clue about so like how do you teach something you don't know so i caught hold of these guys i said can we organize something so they said yes yes and i dumped a full thing of teaching onto them so finally they put up a excellent show they had some 36 participants from Six or seven departments, uh, no more than that, in about uh, six or seven languages. Six, six languages, yeah. English, yeah, Konkani, Marathi, Goa University. Goa University. Yeah, 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 very good. So they did it in 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 the garden and a very informal kind of thing, and they organized it themselves, and you know. So now they have it for four years. They had it for for four years running called pure pure poetry. Hi, come 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 come. We'll get we'll get we'll get. Hey, Aaron, wait, we need you. We need you. Come. I'll get it. Come, come, come! Hey, we need you. Wait, wait, we'll. There are chairs. Come, come, Aaron, come. So, so with this, I will stop yapping, and hand you over to Aaron, who will tell you the rules, rules of the game. Come, 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 come. Sit, 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 sit. Sit. Come. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Aaron, sit. No, no, no. Have to have it. I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh, no, don't worry, don't worry. So carry on. We need a couple of chairs. Better. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get. Everything will be got. No, no, you sir. Ladies first. So, so Aaron will will pass on the rules for today's evening session. Have a seat. Then. Bill gets. Uh so good evening guys uh and Bill gets Bill gets. Uh welcome to Moonlight Musings this is our first attempt at uh, Moonlight Poetry the moon is still to come up so give it a little bit of patience. Uh but uh, I I think I can safely say that uh, we are all here because of our mutual love for like books and uh, literature so yeah nothing much to really say the rules is uh, when you're presenting i think uh, maybe give us a little bit of context with your poem either before or after that's fine no problem and uh, yeah the whole point is uh, just have fun recite um and if uh, anybody here doesn't have a poem and they still feel like they have something uh, you know at the back of their head on their phone so maybe a book you picked up today you want to recite go ahead no problem even if it's not your own recitation that, i mean not your own poem that's fine uh yeah So let's go ahead with it. Let's start lunacy right now. What's the order of speaking? Um, you want to just brief? Yeah. Um. You you want to give your context of the poem before or after? It's up to you. No. If you want to. Who's going to speak when? Alphabetical yeah. Alphabetical order. <laughs> uh. I think we'll have to. We might have to go uh, clockwise <laughs> because we are missing a couple of people uh, and running a little bit late. So 
we might as well start going clockwise or anti clockwise whichever one or whoever wants to uh, what time limit is there 5 minutes 6 minutes 5 to 6 minutes yeah But whoever wants to go first we we can uh, give them a chance to go first yeah except yeah. except heavyweights like ramesh should be put yeah. somewhere in the middle that was <laughs> thinking ramesh is kept for the mid card <laughs> because uh, <laughs> Hello, 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 Rico. It's a recorder. It's a recorder. <laughs> Everyone presses it. Dean is notorious for pressing it. He, <laughs> Dean, would eat it if it was a lollipop. <laughs> he's gone home. He's very tired. His uncle has just his brother's father-in-law has just passed. Recorded on the mic. I hope you know that. His brother's father-in-law has passed away. Just. Quick introduction and. Okay, I'm Alice De Cruz from Saliga. Everybody. I don't presume everyone knows me, but uh, I think most of you, most of the people here, know me uh, from Salmona. So I've been a teacher for 29 years in at college level, and poetry is one of my favorite uh, subjects. Uh, I've uh, enjoyed teaching it over the years, even though my current students are not into poetry. Somehow they, you know, to kind of uh, strain your mind to make sense of metaphor becomes very difficult for them. Yeah, why is her face the moon? I mean, why do you say that? Just say she's round and she's fair and she's beautiful. Why do you say her face is the moon? So to give them that, the the beauty of language is something I really uh, enjoy doing. Yeah. So the background to my poem is it's not my poem. It's a poem I've always loved. Uh, it's by Robert Frost. He's he was an, the American uh, writer who published this poem called Fire and Ice. and it's a very dramatic poem i use it as uh, almost like an enactment in class it's something that really can uh, um, uh, create a lot of passion among the students it generates a lot of debate it's just nine lines it was published in 1920 so after the first world war and uh, frost was he was born in, in 1874 and he died about 6 months one day after i was born or before i was born sorry <laughs> he died before i was born i have a feeling yes there must be some connection there <laughs> his death and my birth it had to be some reincarnation so this is fire and ice which i think is so relevant for today it says some say the world will end in fire some say in ice from what i've tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that ice for destruction ice is also great and will suffice okay so i think when you come to this the word fire and ice today we come across this thing called passive aggression which i don't think frost ever knew this term passive aggression so when you say you can kill with ice the world can end with ice i would like to say in this 21st century the world is, is passive aggression with your coldness you can kill anybody with the with the with the fire of your hatred which is so common nowadays which i think so this poem is almost as if frost was you know thinking beware this is going this can happen in the world you can kill the world in two ways you can also use it in a very uh, physical way it could end in fire in the sense of a big bang the world could end with a global warming uh, or with nuclear war uh, or it could end with a cold wave you know that the sun just goes out and the world just freezes all over again so there's lots of imagery that you can get out of this poem and i always thought it was a really wonderful poem another few lines from a very famous uh, uh, kind of an epic a ballad actually is from the rhyme of the ancient mariner by coleridge and i love the sound of it because for me poetry is music it's sound it's intonation and it's drama so it says alone alone all all alone alone on a wide wide sea and never a saint took pity on my soul in agony they are so beautiful these lines that just saying them is sufficient i don't need to explain them to you thank you santos santos it's okay don't press aria a very warm welcome to all very good evening uh, i am santosh harmalkar i am uh, i am stay here only in saligaon my next wado the secure secure wado neighbor of the club uh, yeah uh, neighbor of the club of course um, presently uh, i am presently i am working as a hr manager in one of the four star resort in kandalim 
and i started uh, writing poems i think in 11th standard when i was in dempi college uh, where my teacher was miss sumida kamath you know she she uh, she you know she told me to you write you are a good writer this but i think in loose convent when i was six or seven standard i read one poem on stage you know bhuyen mare something like that sister idli was next to me and i was impressed on their language you know that time in 91 in 1981 82 i think there was konkani marathi movement so i was impressed in their language in fact i had four standard till marathi i studied in loose in this primary school later i was in fifth standard in loose convent and where i was impressed in their language and then i started then i started writing prose essay these that then i in 11th standard i started writing poems in konkani where i have written now my two books are published and two books are in pipeline i'm still i'm writing now these days i'm writing four lines of poem like in charoli it is called charoli yeah yeah charoli is called charoli now four lines. but four lines yeah so now today i'll present one poem where poem says that those days are gone where we were in we going to school college you know in, in the market where we should sit near you know the four, uh, the what, what do you call uh, so sako yeah we call sako so those days are gone where we should drive bicycle on the open road you know where there is no traffic and all so based on that i'll be i'll be reading one poem charoli no no is a big poem yeah you give us a charoli also <laughs> okay yeah one second sorry okay The name of my poem is "Gale Te Dis." Gale Te Dis, Shade Dami Waspache. Gale Te Dis, Shade Dami Waspache. Shade Cha Watarand Gaddani Khaupache. Shade Cha Watarand Gaddani Khaupache. Gale Te Dis, Iskola Waspache. Gale Te Dis, Iskola Waspache. Intervar Vedar Aiskruti Khaupache. Intervar Vedar Aiskruti Khaupache. Gale Te Dis, College Ad Waspache. Gale Te Dis, College Ad Waspache. कदंबा बसीत हाफ टिकेट मागपे कदंबा बसीत हाफ टिकेट मागपे गेले ते दीस बाजार वचपे गेले ते दीस बाजार वचपे हाथ पोती घेन भाजी हाड़पे गेले ते दीस सायकल चलोपे गेले ते दीस सायकल चलोपे जेतान नेटान रस्त भर मिरोपे जेतान नेटान रस्त भर मिरोपे गेले ते दीस सगले टिटेर बसपे गेले ते दीस सगले टिटेर बसपे इष्टा मित्रा वांगडा चकाटा मारपे इष्टा मित्रा वांगडा चकाटा मारपे गेले ते दीस शेतान वचपे गेले ते दीस शेतान वचपे हाथ खोरे घेन मेरो तासपे हाथ खोरे घेन मेरो तासपे गेले ते दीस आता के ना ये गेले ते दीस आता के ना ये आता फकत याद काड़ीत बसपे आता फकत याद काड़ीत बसपे थैंक यू बिग पोएम से लॉन्ग पोएम ओके ओके गोय मजे गोयकार गोय मजे गोयकार गोय नंदनवन भूय मजी भूमिपुत्र गोय अभिनंदन आदो पोया बीज दे वन तू गो अशे कशे परत परत फोन अ गर्ल कॉल्स यू नो अगेन एंड अगेन देन आई डिस्टर्ब देन आई सेड तू गो अशे कशे परत परत फोन जसे परी गो घेतला हवे बँक लोन जसे परी घेतला बँक लोन ओके वेरी फास्ट थैंक यू लॉट ऑफ दिस थैंक यू 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 ओके दिस इज शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट एंड रिटन लॉन्ग टाइम अगो व्हेन आई वाज अ किड परहैप्स ओके and then there's no need for any explanation okay will it rain today i hope it does for i've waited oh so long i'm dying to see it through the trees and hear its soothing song the trees and flowers would like it too the grass would grow a green bright hue and frogs will croak as if to say we love the rain hooray hooray great 
great sir, great, great. Nice, nice one. Nice. So much of emotion. Uh, that's my, uh, that's that's a little bit about you and your work. Super oh, I, have, uh, I was working in Lintas as a creative director, but now retired. I love Goa. But you're still great. creative. Love Goa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I paint all the time. Painting. I'm an artist, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, can I recite another one? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please, please. If things would be as I want them to, I'd be living in a cottage by the countryside with you. I can imagine how happy I would be wow. I'd have all I want and precious you for me. Such sweet sounds the early mornings would bring as birds on treetops would start to sing. I turn around and you'd be there, the wonderful days with me to share. Great, great, sir. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's going in life. Uh, it's going to happen, I guess. <laughs> I've got a lot of other poems, but I don't know them by heart. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, one sec, Vivek. Vivek is also known as the Vivek. Because he called me. I'm not knighted, but. Neville D'Souza. Sorry, Neville D'Souza. Neville D'Souza. Neville was. Uh, for worry, I got a house in Kandoli too. Is on the beach. Children are safe, huh? Yeah, I was in Bombay but shifted to Goa because I love Goa. He's got and three the first houses time I covered came to Goa with art. Was in Salega. So I have this connection and love for Salega. No, no. She's a friend, she's brought me here. Today. Uh, no, no. By asking such questions, he could lose his club membership for life. No. Because, <laughs> because Norma, because of her. No, no, he, he's going to get his whiskey yeah. now. <laughs> because. No, I have to say that poetry should be Because Norma is the daughter of the former Salman Sardar. How you don't know your gender? Norma Gudero. No, no, I am the... All this rubbish is being recorded. Okay. Your future chances, prospects are ruined. If I, I, my expiry date is so near, what future yeah, chance? Yeah. What are you all doing? <laughs> camera, camera no, should be played. Shelf life. Shelf life is over. Shelf life. Over. over. He, okay. I think we'll blame it on the bar. Yes. We'll blame it on the bar. Okay. Vivek, Vivek. Sanim, Sanim. Uh, Vivek Costa Pereira. Vivek Costa Pereira. <laughs> Next one, Neba. Say, what can we all no, no, I know Santos, but he has You know him as a small boy. Vivek Costa, Costa Pereira yeah. is... is Vivek Costa Pereira is, uh, is formerly Sir Vivek from Luth Convent, PT teacher, NCC master, uh, and he worked for 30 years next to my house, but I never knew him. Okay, then we started on WhatsApp group to promote Shasti Konkani of all things, and I met him there. So his today's poem will be in Shasti Kokni. Okay, yeah. Please say, I'm not, I'm not yeah. interrupting. And Shasti, yeah, say, please say. Original what? dialect, please. Yeah? Original dialect, please. Where? Where? Uh, this poem, originally I had written in Devanagri script, and it was published in Sunaprant also in late 80s. Say both versions, say both versions. That was uh, when the... The first girlfriend of mine ditched me. Okay, so. Miles <laughs> Ranore, Baila Kobra. Miles, you do poeta. Okay, name of the poem is Nirasha. Hopelessness, hopelessness. Huh? Nirasha. Opposite of Asha. Opposite of Asha. Kaulia Kaulia, Darant Maja, Rodo Naka. Kaulia Kaulia, Darant Maja, Rodo Naka, Ogich Maka, Fotoy Naka. Kurai kara, kurai kara, aile disa chiti ata. Kurai kara, kurai kara, aile disa chiti ata. Tege mat kitak nasta. Next after, next round one more. Next round one more. Next. Tige mat kitak nasta. Why the no letter from her? Tige. The nuances of the language have to be caught. When I wrote for newspaper, I wrote tichi. So say in the Devnagi, in the Pruzi, Devnagi. Mundre, Mundre. Just uh, original version, just to compare. Eh? No, I... 
कावळ्या कावळ्या दारांत मजा रडू नाका कावळ्या कावळ्या दारांत मजा रडू नाका वगीच माका फटय नाका कुरयकारा कुरयकारा आयल्या दिसा चिटी हाडटा तिची मात कित्याक नाचता कुरयकार मीन्स पोस्टमॅन पोस्टमॅन There are lots of Portuguese. Kurei Kurei Portuguese words which have come in Konkani. 2000, 2000. Some are cognified and some are used as it is. That's the point that Father Atayit was making. No, but there has been a lot of borrowing from different languages. Now we have Konkish. Can we have, uh, yeah? Ramesh. Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Ramesh, Ramesh. Okay, no? So Ramesh needs no introduction. He <laughs> recently published his book for Lavoy Avoy Zalia Dati. It's been two years now. Recently, <laughs> two years. still recently. Yeah. And mark my words, ah, uh, Avoy Zalia Dati, <coughs> mother's grown old. Avoy Zali Dati. Avoy Zali Dati. Avoy Zali Dati. Zalia Dati. Zalia Dati. Zalia Dati. Mother's grown old. And don't be too surprised if he gets a Sahitya Academy Award for the poem. Of course, because, yeah. Serious, because his work is really down to earth and earthy. and when you like listen him. to him <laughs> when you listen to him you'll get a feel of uh, his the language he uses uh, you know the the images he creates are not very academic but they are like really artistic, the, artistic and has a sense of the has a sense of the feel of the earth so what are you reading you will so, so, introduce so, okay uh, i'm ramesh gadi your poem uh, yeah my poem will be phulle pige gulla de goya amka rakhudi it's about फुडले पिळगेक फॉर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन उरला ते वॉट इज रिमेन गोये राखू दी लेट अस सेव गोवा वॉट इज रिमेन एट लिस्ट ओके कसरो नाका घाण नाका दोंगरा रानां धोली नाका ओके कसरो नाका घाण नाका दोंगरा रानां धोली नाका कोकणी माय भाषे विणे घरान दुसरी बोली नाका ग्रेट I'm too strong on this. Jati kati dharma madhi amka goyan teer na ka. Very good. Jati kati dharma madhi goyan amka teer na ka. Murtiyo khuris dharma tha mod ke mod pi amka weed na ka. Very good. We don't want the madness of uh, hurting the religious uh, sentiments and also the idols. Idols. Pana na ka, gutka na ka, call gala rando na ka. Wow. Okay. पाना नका गुटका नका कॉल करा रांडो नका हिंसा नका हिंसा इज वायलेंस ओके हिंसा नका झगडी नका हातान सूर्यो दांडो नका वाव ग्रेट अफू नका गाजो नका ड्रक्साचो माल नका अफू नका गाजो नका ड्रक्साचो माल नका मुजरे नका नाच नका पैशा खातीर गोय इकपी आमका गोयान दलाल नका वाव ग्रेट ओके After listening to my verses, one of my politician friend got irritated. He said, "You don't want this, you don't want that, you don't want MoPa, you don't want uh, uh, IIT. Then what do you want?" So I explain it again in verses. Dongra mathyar parad hasni kanti surni fulundi. Dongra mathyar parad hasni kanti surni fulundi parad shatan kenal khosre pika varyar dalundi. Wow, great. सायले किनळ घोडका बोरी सायले किनळ घोडका बोरी परत रानांत दिसू दी खडपार बसून मुठ्ठे खायत आमका दात किसू दी आय होप यू अंडरस्टँड मळये माथ्यार वज्रे झरे ओके मळये माथ्यार वज्रे धरे खळखळून वाहू दी दिवडावरी वाळ नव्यो गावातल्यान धावू दी मान वयर करून सदा गावची नार चलू दी मान वयर करून सदा गावची नार चलू दी वाकडी नजर घालपी तिचेर थरथरून हालू दी 
परत घामा कष्टाची रे पेज आमकां चाखू दी फुडली पिळगेक उरला ते गोय आमकां राखून दी रे गोय आमकां राखून आय होप एव्हरीबडी अंडरस्टँड बिकॉज बिकॉज हिज हिज वोकॅबलरी सो इट इट माईट बिकम डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टँड फ्यू वर्ड इवन इवन फॉर अ कॉन्टनी स्पीकर सो सो आय सॅट विथ हिम वन्स अँड वी डिस्कस हिज पोएम्स अँड आय इंटरप्ट विथ हिम ॲट एव्हरी स्टेज आय डोंट नो वेदर दॅट्स राईट वे ऑफ डुईंग इट ॲट ऑल बट आय डोंट अंडरस्टँड आय डोंट अंडरस्टँड आय अंडरस्टँड पॉवरफुल मॅसेज इज ओके ना आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार यु नो यू जस्ट नोट डाऊन सम वर्ड्स अँड आय कॅन एक्सप्लेन टू इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टँड एनिथिंग फ्रॉम इट इज प्लीज सो ओके आम्ही ओके आम्ही आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार देट एव्हरीबडी अंडरस्टँड बिकॉज वी आर गोयकार इवन इफ यू स्टे इन गोया स्टील युअर गोयकार इफ यू लव गोया ओके सो तू मुणकार हा भाडकार तू कुळ हा गावकार यू अंडरस्टँड दिस ना तू मुणकार हा भाडकार तू कुळ टॅनंट हा गावकार तू साष्टीकार हा बार्देसकार तू भायलो हा जणकार जोणकार ओके सो तू मुणकार हा भाडकार तू कुळ हा गावकार तू बार्देसकार हा साष्टीकार तू भायलो हा जोणकार तू कोकणो हा क्रिस्तांव तू कोकणो हा क्रिस्तांव तू हिंदू हा मयर कसलो भावा तुझ्या काळजान भरला हो कोयर कसलो भावा भरला तुझ्या काळजान हो कोयर हो मे तुझे तकलेंतलो आता सगळं भायर मार आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार एनी डर्ट एनी गार्बेज एनिथिंग ओके तू काँग्रेस हा बीजेपी ओके तू काँग्रेस हा बीजेपी तू आर जी हा एम जी तू गोवा सेना हा शिवसेना तू फॉरवर्ड हा आप तू काँग्रेस हा बीजेपी तू आर जी हा एम जी तू गोवा सेना हा शिवसेना तू फॉरवर्ड हा आप पुरो झाले रे आता पॉलिटिक्साचे पाप मनीसपणान एकदा तरी दिरे आमकां जाप मनीसपणान एकदा तरी दिरे आमकां जाप पुरो झाले नारे पुरो झाले जय जयकार आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार तू तू मराठा हा भाणारी तू चाडो हा मापारी तू मराठा हा भाणारी तू चाडो हा मापारी तू बामण हा खारी तू शेड हा चारी इतल्यान सोपू ना इतल्यान सोपूंक ना तू घाडी हा बघत तू घाडी हा बघत तुझे किने पाचवे रगत तुझे किने पाचवे रगत पुरो झालो अभिमान पुरो झालो हे जाती निमणी ह्याच भुयेंत जातलो आमचो गोबोर आणि माती अरे चार दिसांची जीण ही चार दिसांचो संसार आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार आम्ही सगळे गोयकार भावा आम्ही सगळे गोयकार I wasn't a poet. He said he was an accidental little uh, professor. I became an accidental poet. <laughs> It all happened when I went abroad before uh, 25 years. Okay? I was more into bodybuilding, more into sports. Those type of manly things, not in womanly poetry things. <laughs> That's what my wife thinks. Yeah, but all the poets yeah. in the past? Yeah, yeah of, okay, of course. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I went abroad, I didn't know that how, my, how much I love my motherland. I became too nostalgic. I almost became mad. I was working for a health club. And on the way to my health club there was a big lawn and I could see one Sri Lankan lawn uh, gardener early morning he used to go with the lawn mower. And I used to stand there for 10 Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi this was in uh, uh, 90s. Then this uh, Sri Lankan knew only two, three words. English. Water coming, good coming. The pipe. <laughs> yes, I said, good coming, good coming. Then he used to think that I'm waiting for, uh, to try the lawn mower. Want, want. I said, no, no. But forcibly, sometimes he used to give it to me. That was one of my favorite stops. Then again, we had a stable. I wasn't stable that time, but we had a stable where I would uh, always uh, visit. And, and there was a... 
Pakistani helpers over there who used to help with the horses. 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 Even I would go sometimes. I would put that uh, glow thing and uh, Clean them. yeah, scrub their backs and they would love it. <laughs> but and then my Goan friend used to get irritated. He there, Ramesh, man. Then when the Pakistan is like that, and the Sri Lanka is like that, going to Rangoli, Rawat, and Tanje, go there, man, bus time, right? This is a typical Sasti accent. All of my friends were Sasti. Then uh, why was I? I was spending my time with them. I used to love their grass smell. You know, the smell takes you. Smell actually ignites the poetry in you. I used to love the smell of the lawn, the grass cutting. Another smell I used to love was uh, the horses dung smell. It used to take us to, me to my cow shed. I used to feel nice. People used to feel funny. So one of the friends said, he was from Savantavadi. He said, Are you Are bhai, you are a big girl. You are a big girl. You are a Tell your mother to send some soil in the envelope. Yeah, then, like a crazy man, I told my mother, send some soil. In, she said, Mother got scared. She, oh, she, she, she told my father, Mass of Devak Sol Masayagur and Masayag Prasad Ge, the Prasad Ge, don't pakure the Gadar. Send him two petals. He's gone uh, crazy. And then I used to write diary. I used to write diary since I was a schoolboy also. I used to. And then, that evening I wrote, wow. Moons up there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Just behind you. Yeah, we should switch off the light now. Can you? Ah, then you want to be seen. Sorry for the Yeah, no, no problem. Look at it. Yeah. So that evening I wrote two lines on my diary. Okay. So that evening I wrote two lines on my diary. Away maka goinchi mati chitin thodi dhadge. Please send me a little mud in the envelope. Who is mother? Fatu teacher sapna neta shata ani madge. All the time I dream about the palm trees. Yeah. At dawn. And at dawn and my fields. Okay. So that was first poem, and then it followed. Okay. So the name of my poetry is Away maka goinchi mati chitin thodi dhadge. Okay. If you come across any word which you don't understand, please do us. Okay. All right. Carry on, carry on. Okay. Okay. We'll start. Away maka goinchi mati fato de chir. Away maka goinchi mati chitin thodi dharge. Fato de che sapna neta sheta ani maadge. Gotya fatle tana kude. The haystick, which is behind my cow shed. Okay. Gotya fatle tana kude. Ghara maka apaita. Kirkira che paanswe pora nidet lean zagaita. Nazre mukhar nema neta pongare che zhaadge. Pongare is one of the tall tree. One of the tree. Okay. So. Gotya fatle tana kude ghara maka apaita kirkira che paanswe pohar nidetele an zagaita nazri mukhar nemaneta pangare che zhaadge awai maka goinchi mati chitin thodi zhaadge gharcha amcha hasane che samarenge dista thang hasane 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 gharcha amcha hasane che samarenge dista khain Dante will you adly owe you? Dante will you adly owe you? Tuja Wanga this the guy. Oh, you is a song. Obio, Obio. Oh, you songs. 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 Away Maka Goinchi Mati Chitin Thodi Dhargi. Moskashango, you know, no? Huh? Shingo drumstick. Drumstick. 
सो पैशा फाटल धावपो हो खेल मानल गे वी आर रनिंग आफ्टर ग्रीन पैस्टर वी आर रनिंग आफ्टर द मनी पैशा फाटल धावपो हो खेल मानल गे कुड़ी जरी हम हंगा काजा गाबो सणल गे दोया मुखार धावन ये ती मस्ती आनी लाडगे आवई मा गोई माती चिटीन थोड़ी धाड़गे आवई मा गोई माती चिटीन थोड़ी धाड़गे थैंक यू सो इफ यू हेवन अंडरस्टूड एनी हाँ पंगे रो या 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 डेफिनेटली या या व्हाट व्हाट पंगे इज अ टॉल फी आई नो वेदर यू रिमेम्बर वी टू rub the uh, seeds, seeds and, and you make it hot, hot, hot and then yeah i see yeah. Uh, and red uh, ones right yeah, yeah red ones and then uh, it's very high that's the reason mostly eagle make the nest on that tree okay this is a cotton tree no that's a uh, cotton tree saur this is very high one with with the big trunk oh, okay it gets the fruit in a kind of like yeah yeah definitely it opens up like yeah it's open up yeah Ex exactly. And you can actually eat that. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. It's kind yeah. of oily, nutty. Yeah. You would eat it like this. The straight tree. Okay, now who's done? Who's going next? Next, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please do. Please. Do. His poem there becomes song also, no? Song. Yeah. This Become, poem yeah. has turned into song. Yeah. Bye, bye, song. bye, bye, bye. Uh, that, Mukesh Gatwa. Mukesh Gatwa. Song. Really? Yeah. Don't press it. It's on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My name is Norma Cordero. I'm from Saligao. My uh, childhood home is next to next to Santosh's. Santosh's, just yeah. across the field. And now I live in Sukhor. Uh, I'm a retired person. I worked uh, for the most part as a professional social worker. as a qualified social worker in london and in uh, mumbai bombay, uh, then, bombay then bombay then yeah i've never written a poem in my whole life so today is a red letter day <laughs> what happened was my neighbor is a poet and he has some beautiful poems he sent me like videos in fact but he said i can't participate because i have a another full moon engagement today so i was very disappointed because a few imp- uh, nice events which are organized by rico with so much trouble and by the team everyone by the team yeah of late got cancelled due to lack of participation so i got really worried i said this is a poetry thing i wish i was a poet why do i don't have the talent Why have I never written a poem in my life? I'm useless. They may cancel this event. They canceled last minute, you know, the previous in- event which they asked me to participate. It was a fashion walk the ramp thing. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. I said, "What do you want me to do that now? I'm going to be seventy." They said, "No, no, you do it." I prepared myself and got cancelled. So I said, "I have to write a poem. How?" I said, "No, I don't have that talent." So I said, "What shall I do uh, to support Rico's event?" I said, "I will dress up like a poem, and I will say that I will say that I am dressed up like a poem. Maybe Alice will excuse that." And explain yeah? that. And explain that. She may say, "Norma, you look like a poem. Never mind if you didn't write a poem." <laughs> so when I imagine myself in a long black skirt with my hat. you know looking like a poem in my head <laughs> i was washing dirty dishes at the sink and i had this picture in my head as i imagined this picture which etched on my brain the poem started to compose itself so i wrote the first poem of my life So the poem obviously is called My Hat. Oh, great. <laughs> As I walk around Mapsa Market. Wow. They call to me, they beckon me. Come, come. Madam, 
you want earring you want necklace madam come madam i give you very cheap madam i give you very cheap only 1000 rupees madam please madam no giraik madam and as i walk on in the other direction papaya madam you want banana madam i give you broccoli i give you avocado madam te koshen di lago tu koshen di tatu always bare maro ka ha mongo chot maro ti their faces fall and the prices dive all the way down so when i wear my hat i am a dollar i am mistaken for dollars and without my hat i'm just a poor rupee so my hat is my social currency निकिता आश्वेकर आश्वेका student of st javier's college kokni kokni uh, yeah nana's daughter you know she she always comes to borrow books from me so i told her yesterday and she has come poetry avatar tika ki sankhele tuka whatever language you want to read feel free thode utran if you want to say a few words about yourself about the poetry explain if you feel if you feel it doesn't need explanation Yeah. Looks like it's pretty. If you feel it doesn't need an explanation, that is also fine. This is a recorder. Who likes? If you want to explain, you can explain. Okay. Uh, my name is Nikita Ashwekar. I am from Saligaon. Uh, my house is in the Lutz Convent. It's a small part of the city. हाँ सेंट जेवियर्स कॉलेजीन शिकता है थे मज़ा विषय जो आसा जो कोई सायकॉलॉजी सो मैं कोई बरोपा कैसे पैली कान पुण आता हम स्लो स्लो बरोपा लगला आनी हि जी पोयम आसा नी हम सेंट जेवियर्स कॉलेज मैगजीनार बी आ पोयम जी आसा नी डॉट्स घूम रंगो करता पै ती कईफान तेजो रेफरन्स कसो आसा संग सोता आजे कवित नाव जान आसा टिपक रंगो घर मजे सुखा आंगण मजा सुंदर रंगो जोड़ी वैता टिपक्या टिपक्या वेगवेग् वड़िनी आनी घट्टा अशी आकृति अशी मजी रंगो अशी मजी रंगो आसता ती आकार जुड़ा ती पोता पोता रंगता ती रंगा रंगा आनी घट्टा अशी आकृति अशी मजी रंगो अशी मजी रंगो आसलो जरी अंतर रंगो तरी पावला पावला जाता ती नमून आनी रंग आकर्षण वाटा आम दिवा पेट्या पणटनी आनी घट्टा अशी आकृति अशी मजी रंगो अशी मजी रंगो आसता ती गो सणा सभानी दिता ती दर एक घरदार आनी घट्टा अशी आकृति अशी मजी रंगो अशी मजी रंगो थैंक्यू तो रमेश गाड़ी है जॉब ऑफ मेंटरिंग एंड अदर यंगस्टर सर के मरे सर के मरे एंड संतोष आल्सो हैज टू मेंटर मेंटर अ यंगस्टर अब्दुल 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 ना या सी अब्दुल इज ओनली ओवर क्वालिफाइड स्टाफ अराउंड हियर ही इज एक्चुअली एन इंजीनियर हु लव्स बुक्स नाउ दैट्स हिज प्रॉब्लम सो ही हैज टेकन अप अ जॉब विद ब्रॉडवेज सो ही प्रिटेंड्स टू बी अ सेल्स पर्सन बट ही इज एक्चुअली एन इंजीनियर एंड ही लव्स पोएट्री So today when he heard he got worked up and he said I'm coming. He writes in English and Hindi. He, uh, one of each, if yeah. I can request you. Yes. 
So hi everyone. As you said, I'm an engineer. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my voice is it's a bit soft, you know. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so I'm an engineer. Uh, I work at Broadway just temporary. I'll be going to study more, hopefully. So I'm Abdul Haq, and I'm an overthinker. So just like that, I overthink about like time. You know how it is going, slipping away. Instead of doing something about it, I overthink about it. So on that, I wrote like, uh, oh my God, the net is not working. <laughs> No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, taking a bit time. Yeah. So this is one of my uh, first poems. I I started writing when I was sixteen. So this is one of of the poems through of that time. So I just said to time ki, ए वक्त रुक जा जरा, ए वक्त रुक जा जरा इतनी भी क्या जल्दी है, कुछ वक्त के लिए थम जा जरा, जी लेने दे सुकून के ये दो पल, अभी अभी तो गुजरा वो भयानक कल, आज इस सुकून के वक्त में जी लेते हैं चल बस रुक जा कुछ पल सांस तो ले लेने दे सुकून के इस पल में ऐसे भागे भागे कहाँ थक गया हूँ बस थम जा जरा गिर गया हूँ उठ तो जाने दे बिखर रहा हूँ धीरे धीरे खुद को समेट तो लेने दे बस कुछ पल जी लेने दे इस चंद वक्त की खुशियों में रुक जा वक्त रुक जा पता नहीं मैं भी क्या मांग बैठा आज तक रुका है तू जो अब रुकेगा सो दिस वन Yeah. So, okay, this is a okay. This is a nibba one, <laughs> nibba one like a young love. Okay. So this one, this one is in English. Uh, it's a bit metaphorical. So, so I told her that um, I'll tell you how I missed you one day. I'll tell you how I missed you one day. How tough it was to keep the ocean at bay. The sleepless nights, walking in a dead forest, walking to the edge of it, hoping to see a ray. How I wished all my life, hoping you'll come back. How the rainbows vanished and darkness led me astray. Our eyes dull and hair grey on that empty bench in the park on a lazy Sunday. I'll tell you how I missed you one day. So. This this sounds this sounds like lyrics. No, it could be made into a song. No, I have actually written. But <laughs> no, but but you know, I was so keen that if you combine with the proper musicians, like you know, there is Mario Coelho, our friend, yeah. who combines with Rui Ferreira, Rui Rui Rui. Rui whatever, Rui Lobo I think. Rui Lobo, who who actually they compose great music. He composed one for for Professor Isabel's plays. Yeah. So if we get that combination, no, Ramesh. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, absolutely. Goa has a dirt of original music. See, we are all into covers except Kokni, except Kokni, Marathi. I don't know. English has a dirt of his, uh, original music. Can I give you an example? Yeah. You don't mind if I come again? It's just one song. No, no, please, please, okay? please. Okay, please. All adults here, no? Yeah. Hey, I'm under sixteen. Huh? I'm under sixteen. <laughs> But I'm. It's a blues, okay? It's the, no, it's a it's a poem I wrote which I converted to a song. It's a blues. When I'm drinking, don't fool around with me. When I'm drinking, don't fool around with me. 'Cause I take a mug of drinking seriously. I can drink anything from rum to martini. I love scotch on the rocks, but don't give me no tea. I take my drinking. I take it seriously. Yeah. When I'm drinking, yes. my friend, don't fool around with me. <laughs> Once I was back with one of my friends, he said he'd drink me up to two bottles of gin. When he had finished one, he had fallen out. I stood on one leg and began to shout. I take my drinking. I take it seriously. When I'm drinking, my friend, don't fool around with me. Oh, I missed out a couple of words. Okay, great, great. So it's your right about that that uh, poem you wrote in English. It's absolutely got that melody, rhythm, and continuity. Which is so easy to. We just get Merlin or anyone to do it. It'll be lovely. It'll add value to it. Sorry, I was thinking of doing two more poems. After, after, next round, next round. Yes. Okay. You're gonna sing it. Shamika Anrad. Shamika Andrade. Please stand to read the ten poems.
<laughs> so I'm Shamika and Rad, born and brought up in Bombay and ever since the pandemic happened I've been here in Goa and I live in Moira and often I'm looking out of my window and that's how I've been writing. So writing is something new to me, it's something that I've been discovering every single day I write, I love it and uh, it's just an expression. So I start with my first which is Saudad, uh, the uh, Portuguese word for nostalgia. Saudad. I crossed the oceans, I crossed the seas, I left behind familiarity to find myself in a new country, one with promise and hope for eternity. Economic growth is the price I pay to leave my land where coconuts sway, where the kingfisher calls out to me from the luscious mango tree. Life is simple, happiness is free. And lunch is delicious, fish curry. Goa is intoxicating like a drink of feni. It's everything except opportunity. This is the reason why I had to say such a painful goodbye to cross the oceans and seas to conquer new territories. This is my reality that every night after a long day, when my tired head I lay, I'm transported back to my goe until I'm lulled to sleep by the gentle breeze of Saudad. To you it may seem that I'm a deserter, always seeking greener pastures. But if only you knew how much I suffer. I may have left our Goa, but in my heart, mind and soul, I never did and never will. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So the second one that I've written is Donna of the Dungeon. She sat on an exquisitely carved rose chair, withered features, silver hair. She kept me standing. Call me Donna Maria, she said. I said nothing, but looked around instead. Expensive clutter belonged to bigger rooms that knew better days. Family heirlooms that cost a fortune they were her pride, for they were all she had. Call me Donna Maria, she commanded. Minya Linda Donna Maria, I whispered, bowing my head. She smiled proudly. I looked around instead. <laughs> One more? No, f uh, all based on Goa. That's my love. So I teach French, yes. <laughs> The third one is called Pedro and the Goinche Mana. Will you teach me? Teach you what? This. How can I teach you this when you're shy to say it, miss? Okay, fine. Will you teach me to kiss? Teach you what? To kiss. Surely, miss, put your mouth like this. Giggle, giggle, giggle. I'm sorry, let's begin. Pucker your lips, miss, like this. Yes, now wait for me to inch closer to kiss. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Miss, miss, miss. Allow me to say this. Forget a kiss. Forget having fun. You are best suited to become a nun. <laughs> and for now, I end with the last one. To stubborn Goan girls whose fire must never be put out. Wild marigold, may the wind disperse gently your rebellion to begin a revolution of stubborn girls whose fire must never be put out. In the skies always twinkle the brilliance of your eyes and wit. Laughter that startles the ones who forget or allow their fire to be put out. A heart on your sleeve that may bring the brave to their knees. Never the dullness of monotony. Who is next? Are you? Are you going to read a poem? Have you finished? Add it on. Come on, come on. Come on. Sashti? Yes. Yeah? Sashti? Yeah. Requested by Heron. Very good. Sashti? What company? Oh, nice.
वन सेकंड एक कुछ मिनट है मां से तो एक कुछ मिनट है एक कुछ मिनट है कर कर बरे हां मैं क्यों बोल रहा हूं नॉन प्रेस नॉन प्रेस ओके थैंक यू इट्स नॉट अ माइक इट्स प्रेजेंट करता हूं वेन यू ना आज बेस्ट है मां सॉरी हां सॉरी हां दिस टू आउट ऑफ द वे यू वांट टू स्टैंड आई सेंड Okay. Again, I think first. Yeah. 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 Introduce yourself. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a warm evening, actually. Thank you very much for your presence and for sitting here and listening to me. Uh, myself, Aridan Gomes, and first listen to me with my poem, and then we can talk about myself. Yes. Bonsoir. Yeah. <laughs> good evening. I am Johnny. I am Johnny. I got maja maga chikani. Oh Jenny, oh Jenny, oh Jenny. Oh Jenny, oh Jenny, oh Jenny. Tum ge nani, aunt ge honey. Tum ge nani, aunt ge honey. Aunt ge soso, tum ge chani. Aunt ge raza, tum ge rani. Aunt ge raza, tum ge rani. Muk ke lami dogani. Muk ke lami dogani. Bosun tia zada cha mulani. केन्ना केन्ना वर्तला तू कहा त्या जिलानी क्यों गोट मुझे हाक्या ओ चैनी ओ चैनी ओ चैनी तू मेवले मका शाड़े कड़ेन तू मेवले मका शाड़े कड़ेन हाँ मेवलो तुका आंब्या कड़ेन शाड़े तू बसले दारा कड़ेन आने हाँ बसलो जनेला कड़ेन अचकित अचकित दोगा दौड़े एक जाले अचकित दोगा दौड़े एक जाले हंगान रगत मुझे शिजले कच कर दौड़े मैं मोड़े धड़धड़ कर काली मजे वाजले दीस जाले दीस जाले महीने गेले दीस जाले महीने गेले वरस सोपत आयले मनांत मोगाच मूक फुल्ल आजी बार हलूह नाच जो हलूह कर हाथान हाथ हाँ मजो घो मोगाच रस हंगान वावल ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी एक दीस एक दीस भोवंडे गए दोगाईनी वचन बसले जिलानी एक दीस भोवंडे गए दोगाईनी वचन बसले जिलानी हाथान हाथ घून न्हीदली दोगाईनी आईच पाँ सरली तुझी आंटी मारणी मगर उठल्यार मगर उठल्यार परडून आसल हाँ शेण गायरिनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी आज रट्टा हाँ दुकानी आज रट्टा हाँ दुकानी काजार जाऊन गेले तू चिंचिनी तुझा गोवे नाव टोणी ते तो मारता घाणी तुझो गोप ये फेणी आका भिवन धाता वड़ा वाली सोगली सुणी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी हाँ तुगे सोसो तुम गे चानी हाँ तुगे सोसो तुम गे चानी अ सदांच तू मणी मोग करता तुझो हाँ जनी मोग करता तुझो हाँ जनी हाड़ून दिखा मोबाइल टीवी सोनी यो काजार जावी दोगाईनी रहा जिलानी आनी तू जी धा भूग मामी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी ओ जैनी थैंक यू वेरी मच बुशीस तू गे तू मेवले शाड़े कड़ेन हाँ मेलो तुका आंब्या कड़े दिस इज देवनागरी So you've deliberately mixed the yeah. dialect. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you something. Uh, this is the only poem that I have written, okay. and I have. <laughs> and I wrote this poem uh, when I was in college, second year, and this is the only poem that I have done. Uh, Aaron requested me to come this evening, uh, 
So I said, why not try it and come and recite this poem that I have. He was in the MA English class, literature class, which is overwhelmingly girls. Okay. Oh. And he was squeezing and in tears of laughter when they heard him. Yeah. When they heard him Chani. say this, you know, because like it was another side of him they were seeing. <laughs> of course, they knew he was always funny, but they didn't expect him. Aridon and I also share a, yes. a common passion. Choir singing. He was yes. Choir. Oh. Even the same choir yeah. group, the, the Goa University choir. I am from Shishini. Yeah. I am from Shishini. I am from Shishini. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am not even Johnny. <laughs> My name is Aridon. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> It's in the ballad form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a ballad form. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> it's so nice to stand here and recite this poem. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Anit, take a head, Kelo, to Sodi Tamare, to Sota Yamcha, Aisha Burgamare, and a time now. Sashi group and Gatla to Potamare. Don't listen to Potato. He's a Rosa cannot stay longer. Thank you, thank you so much. Anyone else? Someone else to decide? Yes, there are, there are, there are. Mr. Shah. I can do something, please do not record. Okay. I can. स्वयं शिंकता माका भूक लगली शतान मे बुके भूक बागोक हाँ बुकेला माका तान लगली जोरेन मे तानी तान तंडोवक हाँ तानेला शियांत हाँ कुटकुटा मेड्रन मे कंबेक लौंग गे वतान हाँ कॉर्पता जाडान मे सवें मजा विसव गे ओंट हम ओतरेकता तुये इंचा ओंट हम ओतरेकता तुये इंचा लोग कितो ना लोक कहीं मोड़ूं दिवक ना करपी तो काज केशीच गेली ना लोक कहीं मोड़ूं दिले ना करपी तो काज केशीच गेली ना Hi again. <laughs> so okay, um, um, you know I had written one poem on traumatic experiences. So I had such experience when I was a kid. So what experience? Sorry. A traumatic experience. Yeah. So I had written on that key. Okay. So like sometimes when you have like you are, you are going through a traumatic experience, you shut yourself now. But only you have the key to open that door. so you you do usually don't give it to someone so even i didn't give it to anyone i still have a habit i don't know when i'll open it so this is this is on that experience ki andhero mein baitha andhero mein baitha hai andhero mein cheekha hai awaaz suni hai wapas khud ki awaaz suni hai wapas khud ki in deewaron mein aur kuch na gunja hai ek darwaza hai is kamre ko ek darwaza hai is kamre ko kai saalon se nahi khula hai cheena jis din bachpan mera us din wahan se qaid hua hai आँखों में अपने आग लिए आँखों में अपने आग लिए हर दिन खुद को संभाला है हार जाता हूँ हर पल जब जब सामने आता उसका चेहरा है कुछ महसूस होता है सीने में कुछ महसूस होता है सीने में जो उभर कर बाहर निकलना चाहता है इन अंधेरों से निकलने को इल्तिजा मेरा दिल हर दिन करता है मगर कैसे जाऊँ इस अंधेर कमरे से मैं कैसे जाऊँ इस अंधेर कमरे से मैं जहाँ चुप के मैंने खुद को समेटा है चावी लिए हाथ में अपने एक सुंदर भविष्य का सपना देखा है so this one was and, and uh, like uh, sometimes like when you lose people like literally lose them you say that you uh, that you have not died you're still living now but people don't realize that part of you has died with them so when you us experience pe likha tha ki kyunki ha sahi kaha hai kisi ne kyunki ha sahi kaha hai kisi ne koi kisi ke jaane se mar nahi jata koi kisi ke jaane se mar nahi jata saanse to chal rahi hai na dil to dhadak raha hai na bas jeena isi ka to naam hai to kya hua tum muskurate nahi तो क्या हुआ तुम अब मुस्कुराते नहीं तो क्या हुआ तुम लोग भाते नहीं तो क्या हुआ तुम्हें अब लोग भाते नहीं अपने पैरों पर खड़े होके चल तो रहे हो ना इन बहती हवाओं को महसूस तो कर रहे हो ना बस जीना इसी का तो नाम है रात के अंधेरे में खुद को ढूंढना छोड़ दो रात के अंधेरे में खुद को तलाशना छोड़ दो नहीं मिलोगे रोशनी से महरूम होना अब खुद को कैसे ढूँढोगे 
पर फिर भी खुद से बिछड़े इन रस्तों पर चल तो रहे हो ना आँखों में अपने सपनों की कबर बनाए हंस तो रहे हो ना बस जिना इसी का तो नाम है ओके दिस पोयम ऑफ ऑन फिशर वुमन फिशर वुमन फ्रॉम कलंगूट नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी माथेर पाटलो माथेर पाटलो घो सतुलो आगार वड्या वो नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी भोंवता वड्यार बसता तिटार कोलगुड़ा प्रसार नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी नुस्ते मुझे टोटवीत ताले मुझे फोड़फोड़ सगले घता सोड़सोड़ नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी नाव मुझे मारिया लिना मुंटा मका मागदेली ना सालिगाव पास दिना नुस् नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी विस्वण पापलेट दौर वड़ परवणा तुमका माथ्यार जोड़ तोरी मका जोड़ जोड़ नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी लोग मुझे ये आंगार नुस्ते सोड़ पोता पाट्यार सगले ये पास भाड़कार नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी फामाद मूँ सुंगटा बागें पापलेटा मुझी कास्त नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी नुस्तेकान हाँ कोलगुड़ी थैंक यू कास्ता मीन्स नो 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 कास्ता हैवी कास्ट कास्ता चो यू नो कास्ता चो या इट्स आई थिंक इट्स पोर्टुगीज वर्ड एक्चुअली पोर्टुगीज वर्ड पोर्टुगीज या गुड क्वालिटी गुड क्लास कास्ता चो कास्ता चो मरे तो यू नो इट्स समथिंग लाइक दैट लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक यू नो सो यूज्ड दैट इन इन पोर्टुगीज पोइम काजार यूज काजार काजार मीन्स वेडिंग द पोर्टुगीज वर्ड काजार या पत्रा इरमा ऑल दिस पोर्तुगीज वर्ड Correct, correct. See, but one thing that is not happening is that in Goa, the poems are not going from one language to another. Mm. If you are in Konkani, you are stuck in Konkani and that audience. I know, I know. In English, you are stuck in English. Yeah. So that I don't know how we can bridge that gap. I really don't know. Okay, and the title of the poem is "Sang Taka Visru Naka Shatkar Ya Chen Kuri." Wow. It's a message to the fathers who has younger sons and all. He says, please. Never forget that your fathers were farmers. Oh, okay. Kenna pausan, kenna gimat. Kenna pausan, kenna gimat. Kenna dhuriyat, kenna watan. Hatak dhorun lan panar putak tuja varre shatant. Wow. Got it, no? Kenna pausan, kenna gimat. Kenna dhuriyat, kenna watan. Hatak dhorun lan panar putak tuja varre shatant. कोलू दिरे ताकाय कशी शतान आमी बांधली जोता कोलू दिरे ताकाय कशी शतान आमी बांधली बांधली जोता तेफा माळेत भोव निरे ताकाय सगळी मड्डी शतां मड्डी लाइक टू द हिली फील्ड्स या मड्डा ओके या मारलो कसो रो आमी ओके लायले कशे तरव्या भात मारलो कसो रो आमी लायले कशे तरव्या भात वावल्यो कशो घामा पावळ्यो फातोर तीन सान दीस रात मारलो कसो रो आमी लायले कशे तरव्या भात वावल्यो कश्यो घामा पावळ्यो फातोड तीन सान दीस आणि रात कळू दिरे ताकाय कशे खिणाल झाले बापाय हात हाऊ द कॅलोसिस केम टू फादर कळू दिरे ताकाय कशे खिणाल झाले बापाय हात रापली कशी आवयची रे गोरी सावळी वतान कात ग्रेट गोर इट न कळू दिरे ताकाय कशे खिणाल झाले बापाय हात रापली कशी आवयची रे गोरी सावळी वतन कात आमच्या वरी ताकाय सांग ही शेतां ओपची पडटली आमच्या वरी ताकाय सांग ही शेतां ओपची पडटली तरवे घालून तासां करून बियाय रोयची पडटली ओखणे पडीक जमनीचे रे ओके डोन कीप इट अन कल्टिवेटेड ओके बॅरन ओखणे पडीक जमनीचे रे नाका आमकां गावात लाशे वी डोंट बॅड पॅच ऑफ अनकल्टिवेटेड फील्ड ओके सो ओखणे पडीक जमनीचे रे नाका आमकां गावात लाशे वाऱ्यार धोलपी शेतां पळोवन फुटून येरे तांच्याय तोंडार हाशे ओखणे पडीक जमनीचे रे नाका आमच्या गावात लाशे वाऱ्यार धोलपी शेतां पळोवन फुटणी तांच्याय मुखार हाशे सांगा तांकां सांग ताका कष्टा पीक पिकता तितले पिकू रे सांग ताका कष्टा पीक 
पिकता तितले पिकूंग रे जानटा ची पूर्ण गिरेस का ही कैन्नस ना काम विकूंग रे ओके सांगता का कष्टा पीक पिकता तितले पिकूंग रे जानटा ची पूर्ण गिरेस का है कैन्नस ना काम विकूंग रे जाऊं नहीं तका दो तोर टीचर जाऊं नहीं तका दो तोर टीचर इंजीनियर वो आदोगाद वाजू नीरे कीर्ति सो तातोए धाई दिकान नाद जाऊं नहीं तका दो तोर टीचर इंजीनियर आदोगाद वाजू नीरे कीर्ति सो ताचाए धाई दिकान नाद पुन आसनी सदात मनन ताचा धाये जाचे मुड़े let the seeds of the heritage remain in his blood ओके पुन आसनी सदात मनन ताचा धाये जाचे मुड़े सांगता का विश्रु नका शतकार जाचे कुड़े सांगता का विश्रु नका शतकार जाचे कुड़े आइकॉन आइकॉन कितने आइकॉन हैं? आइकॉन आइकॉन पॉइंट ज़्यादा नहीं। माँगी है। आइकॉन आइकॉन। थ्रू ऑस्मोसिस। राइट। सो हम जस्ट गोइंग टू डू थ्री एंड दिस वन इस कॉल्ड आ डोल्चे वीता। डोल्चे वीता, ब्यूटीफुल लाइफ, स्वीट लाइफ, द गुड लाइफ, यस। इट्स इटालियन। द सन्स जेंटल राइजिंग इन द फील्ड्स Lingering the remnant smell of cows grazing, the kingfisher in the guava tree is singing of possibilities. The poor there is honking as he waves goodbye. Moira, the village of my ancestors, is always beckoning, leaving me smiling as I dunk poi in my tree, admiring how sweet life in a village can be. In fact, the next one is called Tamdi Matti. Land of our ancestors, may the red mud reflect the anger roaring in our hearts when they capture our verdant fields, transforming them into concrete grey. In the village, the kingfisher sings of pretty things, for the smell of rain lays forgotten under the constant rain of climate change. Coconut trees bend, afraid it's the end. O God of the Old Testament, send down a great flood that in unison with the red mud, it's, it rav uh, ragingly ravages hideous grey concrete cemented in our blood. <laughs> and I'm going to do the last one. It's based on into uh, thy heaven, uh, into that freedom of heaven, my father, Rabindranath Tagore. So this is titled, Let My Goa Be Saved. Where Sone is plenty and Feni is free, where Ladain drags on and on, where village gossips breaks up into fragments over narrow domestic walls, where the rosary is uttered absent-mindedly, and yet they join their hands and pray devotedly, where every Goan possesses faith that can move mountains, where our going to Saib protects us all. Into this ocean of belief, my father, let our Goa be saved. Wow. I'd just like to thank Saligao Institute for doing this. Uh, I've been attending a lot of the events that you all have created, cooking and the talks. Yesterday I learned how to short story write. There was a talk on the Inquisition, so thank you to your team for doing all of this. And uh, anyone can do it. I think the model is there. He's so modest. <laughs> He's very modest. The model is there. You are just you need cutting and pasting. You need Frederick, you need Frederick yeah. Narona. Yeah. Yes, I agree. You need, you need, we are blessed to have you. You need crowdsourcing. You need crowdsourcing. Pass the buck. Pass the buck. Come here, lady. Now you read. Read now. Your poem. Not my poem will take centuries to come. But I'm going to read out the... No problem. I'll read out about someone who is from nearby and I'm going to not tell you who that person is for a little while. And we have to guess. Yeah, so an ode to bleep bleep. Okay, this guy is bleep bleep. By bleep bleep. Okay, written by someone whom we know. 
so yeah so now he says there is no statue to mark the memory of bleep bleep a pity for his patrician looks and his long flowing beard would have made a fine figure the house in pilen where he passed his childhood is in ruins only a few of the oldest residents have any recollection of him and few are aware that he was one of the finest indian english poets of his time pilen is next door of his time we are fortunate that many of his poems still survive though they only just survive in a few slim volumes in the central library's rare book sections any guess yes vivek sankar no not arman not arman menezes okay joseph futado joseph futado and uh, if you search for him no people have spoken very highly about him because he he used to write what they used to call in our, our youth they used to call it indo anglian literature in your anglian writing in indian writing in english came later they used to call it indo anglian which was almost a colonial term and uh, he he no he did the reverse you know he wrote indian writing in english and one was was one of the first poets like ramesh to put in those earthy sounds into english okay like like when you Tran- hear what is called that transliteration no the indic sounds you know the sound i'll read to you a poem of his yeah, okay, so so like like uh, when you hear one of santosh's words which which you were saying kasta then all now which yeah. is colloquial yeah. so so here this joseph futado started writing maybe in the 1900s early 1900s yeah. with with indian concepts in english and it was very unusual for this time so i've got one very old book of his and it's called the this poem which i've chosen is called the fortune fortune teller okay uh I'm not. I've not well pre-asked it, and also please bear with me. The fortune teller, fortune teller, Mem Sab, tell fortune very well. Past, present, future, tell. And only one rupees. All fortune telling fees, fortune teller, Mem Sab. So that's the first para. He he is importing into English the Indic Indic style of speaking and talking and all that. Then then he goes on. Nisim musical yeah, does it yeah. but even even the a uh, few of the earlier critics i think nisim also credits joseph uh, futado oh. with being one of the first yeah, yeah. in at all india level okay. not goa yeah. saib's hand one minute please not like not give me fees saib plenty of money make half cunning people take <laughs> i see saib marry twice the second mem sab nice <laughs> so nice and pretty wife keep saib dilkush all life she gives saib children three all beauty bright to see first second boys last girl like very pretty pearl saib reading all too much religion books and such saib star to rise in west not understand the rest i tell no more no less but what make certain guess saib years now 44 live certain 40 more no lie saib will live there live here sorry this line show age quite clear i never telling lie what good do saib or i no good and why i should saib fortune very good i get now plenty pies saib fortune very nice <laughs> so 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 you know these are the untold gems of yeah. of goa uh, i this is like 100 years out out of copyright i think uh, cinnamon teal Cinnamon Teal recently came up with the collected works of Joseph Utado, but see, books don't get noticed. That is my that is my lament. Goa we, books don't get we noticed. We have events like this, Frederick, and then yes, it will eventually discuss. when the generation of young lecturers and senior lecturers, professors take yeah. uh, take this to their classes. It will definitely get uh, done. Yeah, you know, I was talking to a guy from Shioli, and he said my great grandfather is mentioned in the in the world uh, bibliography of poets in 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 the world or something like. That. So I thought this guy was boasting. You know who? Uh, Alice Sharon's uh, late Sharon's husband, no? Uh, late Sharon who died, no? Sharon De Cruz, the historian. Yeah. Her husband is from Chile, and his grandfather was listed there. Okay. Uh, what Isaac something? This was a. Uh, I forget. I forget. Just that. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now Aaron, Aaron, because there was a deal that if you do, I'll do. Um. I've not written an original one, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do one that um, that I, for some reason it always reminds me of the full moon. Um, maybe oh, it has something. <laughs> no, it's, it's so it's not about the moon, but um, something about it. It's got a cyclical nature to it, and um, 
it's by my it's by my favorite author actually J.R.R. Tolkien, and it's one of his poems. And um, it it tells you something about the permanence of the moon that it's like a judge. It's always there, you know, in in a, in a different timeline or uh, in a different um, realm even. But uh, that moon, that it's it's like a a permanent judge always up in the sky. And uh, for some reason, I don't know if you'll get this, but for some reason, this always reminds me of a full moon night. So yeah, so this is um, this is the song of Durin by Tolkien. The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone, when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dells. He drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror mirror, and saw a crown of stars appear, as gems upon a silver thread, above the shadow of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall, in elder days before the fall, of mighty kings in Nagothrond, and Gondolin, who now beyond. The western seas have passed away. The world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne, in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver flow, and runes of power upon the door. The light of sun and star and moon, in shining lamps of crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, they shone forever fair and bright. They handle. On their hammer, on the anvil smote, their chisel clove and graver wrote, their forge was blade and bound was hilt, the delver mined, the mason built, their beryl, pearl and opal pale, and metal wrought like fish's mail, buckler and corslet, axe and sword, and shining spears were laid in hoard. Unwearied then were Durin's folk, beneath the mountains music woke, the harpers harp. The minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is grey, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb, in Moria, in Khazad Doom. But still the sunken stars appear, in dark and windless Meromir. There lies his crown in water deep, till Durin wakes again from sleep. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Yes, I just forgot to say one thing that uh, the 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 article I was reading from was by our friend Augusto Pinto from Moira. He wrote a beautiful tribute and very nice uh, article on on uh, Futado Joseph Futado. Published it in Himal South Asia. If you Google for it, you'll find. Uh, so I I was not mentioning his name only so that to keep it a secret at that time. Augusto Pinto has uh, translated some of my poems. Oh. It will be published in now. Uh, if he is there, coming on the station, I mean. Very good. Peacock, peacock. Peacock. Yeah. You know, it's very important. Translations are very important. Yes. Uh, For that. Somebody has uh, translated my some of my poems. It's not an easy job because you yeah, need yeah. linguistic yeah. skills and poetic sensibilities. Agusto has it. Agusto has it. It's very mm. difficult to translate also. Yeah, something is lost, no? When you translate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. His language, language is very, yeah. very agrarian, very yes. rustic. So when you translate it into English, it's into English, you will lose the nuances. Mm. See, because they Konkani has got twenty, hundred uh, words for different parts of the coconut tree. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And it got so many words for different seasons and different soils and different exactly. plowing operations, which cannot be translated. Especially, you know, the, now traditional farming is gone and the mechanical farming has come. Hmm. So we are losing a lot of words. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. So Those words have to I'm, be saved. So I'm trying to save them through my poetry. Okay. So it will be documentation for next generation. At least when they'll go through it. Can you not get it into schools for them to study? Uh, my not in schools. See, eleven standard book uh, book will be including my poem oh, okay. next year. Okay. Lovely. That's a good way. See, but to Alice, it. there is a problem there. The pressure is so much now, and everyone wants something of theirs to be included, but. You know the the scope is so little. I think ah uh, just on time. Don't worry. Oh, uh, don't worry. You're fine. We are we have not finished. I think you know somehow we need better better options for poetry. Uh, maybe a poetry magazine, even if it's a even if it's a e magazine. Poetry wala in uh, in uh, Bombay has made a made a viable option of promoting poetry. 
see they print limited number of copies and uh, you know out of solidarity they sell it to their friends so if you have a poetry circle mm. we'll just buy if Ramesh comes out tomorrow out of support I'll buy of his he'll buy of mine so those kind of things poor, 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 uh, poor uh, Ramesh he came during the uh-huh. pandemic to my house and theoretically I've published his work but he has done all the work himself he has taken all the expenses himself Okay, fortunately he recovered. He recovered from I that. Sold all of them. No, he sold all of them. I don't have any copy to give to him. That's, <laughs> that's because he's a kind of a guy. If you call him for a poetry recital, he's there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm saying that how do we make a model out of... Because poetry is very hard to sell, I'll tell you as a publisher. But there are ways to beat it. Poetry wala is a way. Sorry, ma'am. This is... Uh, this is uh, first name? So sorry, Mahima. Mahima. Mahima is from Sangalda next door. We are ready for you. No, I'm not from Sangola. <laughs> from Bangalore, actually. Yeah, but you were. Hi, when I knew you, you were in Sangola. Okay. <laughs> from Bits Goa. Bits Goa. Ah, Bits Goa. Bits Goa. Yeah. Just a second. You have come all the way from Vasco? From Bangalore. From Bangalore. Today? No, a couple of days back. Oh, okay. oh God, you got big Yes. So, hello. Right now, I've come from Mandrim. Mandrim. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, I know uh, Mr. Narona because I, we, I think when I was in college, we interacted because I had done an event. Uh, where you know he, he had talked about all his uh, efforts to publish books and ab- about yeah they are very deeply interested in uh, in humanities social sciences it's amazing yeah yeah so our college again is a we don't come uh, from school like that <laughs> we come with uh, very strong ideas of science maths and all and then our college we are given a lot of liberty to explore a lot of things so we had a lot of electives during which I got in a lot into the other side of things. So after my college, I uh, went into the business side. This is my friend Nishita. She works in Swiggy. I worked in Flipkart for two years. And then I realized that, okay, I like the business side, but maybe it's all business business. And I was interested in the humanities. <laughs> so then I decided to take a break. So in the middle, I got a lot into poetry. So, and then... Now I'm again going, I need that uh, slightly technical stuff back. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm figuring out what next. Maybe I'll try technical content writing. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's me. And, and Exactly. So you can't, uh, you can't, uh, what I realized was you can't really just do either or. Uh, it's just figuring it out. So um, I will just recite a poem I have written. I'm, I'm not sure what sort of poems have been. All, 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 all kinds. kinds. Awesome. All, all, all. Uh, just a second. Actually, one second. I had one specific poem. Just a minute. So I actually had a specific poem, but it seems I can't log into that right now. So I'll do another uh, poem in place of that. Yeah. No, it won't be able to. It's a very long process. Hua. Sorry, I'm just taking some time. 
जस्ट मुझे स्पेसिफिक पोयम नहीं मिल रही या सो आई आई दिस पोयम इज कॉल्ड चोर्स इट वॉज रिटर्न ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डे आई वॉज वेरी बोर्ड ऑफ यू नो लाइक दे सो मेनी चोर्स आई हैड टू फाइल टैक्सेज इन do like laundry and clean the kitchen counter top not that i'm i am slightly lazy by nature but that uh, but that day i was feeling even more lazy so i was like there's so many chores to do so then i wrote a poem about it oh how i hate chores sorry cleaning kitchen counter tops washing piles of stinking clothes what a bore what an absolute bore you see in a distant universe i was surely a shabby ice age mammoth or a sloth free of these dreary mounting tasks i would roam proud in my shaggy brown winter coat and ancient ants would clean out gnarly dirty bits so no work in exchange for letting them nestle in my wooliness just a second again i will figure out yeah and when one too many skeletons had collected in my closet sized cave I'd simply stamp them into dust so they could blow away like bubbles into the icy freaking cold antarctic wind. Wow, wow. great. Nice one. Nice. Really <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like kuch nahi karna hai. I just expect nature to take its own course. <laughs> so this poem was about that basically. Yeah. 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 I have Huh? Oh. I have more. Three three. Uh read one at हिंदी है हिंदी नो प्रॉब्लम और इंग्लिश इंग्लिश नो प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली कैन आई रीड अ पोएम बाय समवन एल्स दैट आई रियली रीड दिस या आई विल रीड अ पोएम आई रियली लाइक कॉल्ड इट लाइक जस्ट अ सेकंड इथाका एक्चुअली नो आई विल रीड दिस पोएम दैट आई रियली लाइक कॉल्ड ओशन बाय रूडी फ्रांसिस्को Okay I am reading this is one of my favorite poems actually it is by this greek poet in the 18th century although i think it's a bit romanticized but it's still good to read once in a while i like sometimes it gives hope so it's uh, as i said it was written in greek but uh, as you set out for ithaca hope your road is a long one full of adventure full of discovery Lestrigonian cyclops angry poseidon don't be afraid of them you will never find things like that on your way as long as you keep your thoughts raised high as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body lestrigonian cyclops wild poseidon you won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul unless your soul sets them up in front of you hope your road is a long one May there be many summer mornings when with what pleasure what joy you enter harbors you're seeing for the first time may you stop at phoenician trading stations to buy fine things mother of pearl and coral amber and ebony sensual perfume of every kind as many sensual perfumes as you can and may you visit many egyptian cities to learn and go on learning from their scholars keep ithaca always in your mind arriving there is what you're destined for but don't hurry the journey at all better if it lasts for years so you're old by the time you reach the island wealthy with all you've gained on the way 
not expecting Ithaka to make you rich. Ithaka gave you the marvelous journey. Without her, you wouldn't have set out. She has nothing left to give you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaka won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will have understood by then what all these Ithakas mean. Great, nice. Yeah, this is. I think uh, Odysseus. Yeah, so Ulysses or Odysseus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, the battle of, uh, I think, the Trojan War and everything is associated. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Ulysses was one of these adventurers who went oh. on love journeys, and he he comes up with this idea that you must drink life to the lees, and he's just like drinking your tea to the <laughs> when you have the <laughs> like boil it down. Don't waste your life. Yeah. Take it right till the end. So I think that's a message there. Yeah, it's a good message. Any, any, any suggestions on where do we move from here? Any suggestions on how to take poetry? <laughs> poetry forward, poetry <laughs> forward in Goa or, or what? Home. I guess more sessions like this, no? Just sitting and reading. Yes. Remember, it was called the Dead Poets Society. Yeah. Where? The movie also. The Dead Poets Society yeah. is referred to by Eliot, T. S. Eliot, the English poet who believes that it's not the poet's mind that creates all this; it's the experience of all the past poets that have written and the imagery mm. that has come. Mm that they put together and his mind is just a crucible. It's just all it's whatever other we have people's thoughts and all. It's not an, it's every human being, every thought you have is, has been had before. So it's never original. So it's he gives easy. credit he gives credit to that. That uh, it's not the individual who creates anything. It's your collective unconscious that that's like music. There cannot be an original music. It's all based on someone else's ideas. We stand on the shoulders of giants. You know? So creativity is a complex thing. Kurla is post office and Karthi is the postman. In Portuguese, Bogan in Montana, Kurai Karmanda. Sastin, 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 Asa Karthi in Galarim. Surya Karthi, we are there. Yeah? Yeah, Karthi is very old. I never heard that. Surya Karthi is Portuguese. No, I've heard it must be 30, 40 years old, no? In our language has changed completely. Aula. 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 Yeah. So we're going back to we're going back to the language of their, the poems that they were reading, and they were talking. It's an old Portuguese word that came into one of his poems. Ado, tumi pade kar mandar, no? Ami pade hi mandar. Pade, tumi pade mandar. Pade kar. Sasti, pade kar. Ami anga se pade kar, mujhe one who has bulls. Yeah, yeah. It has a totally different meaning. Yeah, yeah. Pade kar. Pade kar is. She is a Bomai car, she doesn't know anything. Padvigar. Padvigar means Pad comes from Padre. And the dialects is amazing, no? The kind of dialectical differences yeah, yeah, yeah. within companies. What is your, and then you can have your fun language? With this. Imagine a funny car and a funny car and a story. But what is your original language? Is actually, so I am from Uttarakhand, like ethnically. But uh, our language is Kumauni, but I was not taught it, so I don't know. About it. A lot of dialects so in Hindi also have merged, have merged yeah, with the mainstream. Yeah, no, no, but my father used to speak Kumauni because he grew up in the hills. But my mother grew up outside, so she didn't yeah. speak it. So there was. Even Bhojpuri and all that, many of them have become a hodgepodge mm. of of Hindi, yeah. which is part of the process, but still there is a loss there, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. You lose, lose something, you gain something. So back to your question, I think the way forward could be, as you said, where we have uh, the musicians and the poets, and together we collaborate and we have like a creative workshop. Another thing that I could see is maybe theme-based. Goa based, I think uh, more English and Konkani and as you spoke about, there's not a mix right between the Konkani and the English and the English. Let's try changing our roles. We try writing in Konkani of course with the Konkani poets and they in English and together we can create something different, collaborative. If some poetry went into song it would be amazing yeah. I think you can pull that off. In so you get song. someone who's uh, maybe a, uh, some instrument, yes. maybe a, the tabla or an guitar. Rui Lobo is capable and of doing he, it. As he recites, maybe somebody can put put it to music. Rui Lobo is capable of doing it. He's done Mario Coelho in style, yeah. Mario's. Yeah. Where can we access this online? Yeah, Mario's song. Mario has sung it. Oh, 
It's online. Mario Coelho from Ponda. Yeah, from Ponda. Coelho syrup. Coelho syrup. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Mustard seed. Mustard seed. Now they are not. They are not. Earlier. 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 And it, it was performed in mustard seed. His song was performed. <laughs> hey, so nice meeting you all. Thank you, everyone. Real pleasure. Yeah. Hey, please, please, please. Uh, last few points. They came late. They came. We loved. We loved everything. You know, I think our poems they relate to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about Goa. It's about the soil. Maima, Maima, saying something. Tell. Shamika. Very interesting. Would slam books work? Where these books, you know, hand hand printed books, handmade books, photocopied books. You know, before you print a full fledged book, Ramesh, yeah. you print sixteen, thirty two pages. Yeah. On you know there are formats on if you go on the computer, where you can print your books. Correct. If you format the pages properly, you can print your poems, and you take photocopies of it. Go to the photocopy shop, make some thirty, forty page, fifty pages, and make small booklets. You know. To pass the poetry around because publishing it is tough here. Yeah. I published. You published? Not myself. Like, but there was a challenge online, which you had to write one poem every day, and they would, if you paid them twenty five hundred, they would publish it. For Only two thousand five hundred. Yeah. That's quite low, yeah. Yeah. How many copies? Uh, I don't know, but like, it's just on demand. Maybe like it takes some time to reach the person, but. Your experience with your book after producing it, selling it. Actually, but the time was bad that time. I couldn't Pandemic. go for this launching and all. Many people were upset because I did not invite them for that. But you had a fan following already, no? Oh yeah, really. Yeah. He has one a fan, fan following. One more fan over here. I love his work. <laughs> so for him to sell became very easy. Yeah. People were saying, "Khui reto, Ramesh has a book. Khui reto." I was. Uh, I gave a lecture in uh, government college, uh, Sakhalin. He said, "We can buy your twenty books. <laughs> Then uh, art and culture, they wanted some books. Then even." Uh, Central Library. They asked for hundred books, something. But I had no books. Ramesh, you have promoted your poetry and you have written seriously. You have written hard on it. Most people, you know, they are they expect returns very fast. See, it is long. Build up process is very long. How many years has it been? Not many, actually, not no. Many, not many. How many? How many years? How long? Years, years yeah. writing poetry. Fifteen, twenty. How many poems are here? All together. Per year, per year. All together. No, I'm very slow. Uh, slow. Maybe, you take your time. Yeah, maybe about uh, three, four poems a month. You know, sometimes they are fast, sometimes they are slow, sometimes I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> Articles he writes. But, But from I, poetry, he has moved into the printed word. He also yeah, publishes yeah, in the papers. I write a Marathi column for. Yeah, I write a Marathi column for Lokmat. This is one of the most popular column nowadays. Mathi and Mansa. Is, uh, people and the soil. People and the soil. But that came later, no? After your poetry, no? But before that, uh, for one and a half year, I wrote. wrote uh, Blogs. Blogs. In Lokmat. Yeah, Lokmat. Both in Lokmat. Short stories. Yeah, short stories and then uh, the essays. You know, ma for, sorry for interrupting. Marathi Kokni has a good culture of promoting yes. literary works. You had spoken about. In this. the Diwali Angs, yeah. Diwali Chaturthi, so whatever. I get you know invitations like from this. many Diwali Angs. They pay me also, but sometimes I don't have the time. Kokni or Marathi, both Marathi, you do, Marathi both, you both. Mar Marathi is bigger market, bigger market, bigger market. कोकनी एक उत्साह नहीं, बांगर बोई, तीन उत्स, तीन उत्स, पर मराठी में भी एटलिस्ट ट्वेंटी मोन इन दर्द, करेक्ट, लॉट्स ऑफ पेपर्स इन गोवा प्लस आउटसाइड गोवा, इज मिलियंस मिलियंस, आस्पेक्टली आउटसाइड गोवा, फेस ऑफ द मून इज चेंजिंग ही हैव टू रैप इट अप Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, sure. Thank you all. What for me?